Coaching this generation's real estate superstars. Harris Real Estate University. Before we get into buyers, because we are going to talk more extensively about buyers, I also wanted to just let you know some of the other things that we heard. Because just as we were talking to you guys about being of service to your clients, we want to be of the best and utmost service to you today when we do these events. Buyers, of course, was the number one thing. We had lots of questions about prospecting. We're going to talk about that. You know, when agents, when things happen in the market, sometimes agents end up wanting to or being able to spend less money on marketing and things like that. So the natural progression is they have to learn how to prospect for real. It doesn't cost me anything. You know, it makes me a little uncomfortable. But prospecting questions. Lots of questions about scripts. Scripts for the new market. You know, if I can't just say, you know, somebody asked me about my commission, if I can't just say no, any other questions, I still get a signature. What do I say? Okay, so scripts. We're going to talk about that. Of course, the quintessential question, and that's also been very well represented by our attendance of our short sales students, lots of questions about short sales, okay? Uh, lots of confusion about statistics and what's happening, whose statistics do we believe? You know, you hear things on CNN and then you hear things locally. What do I use? How do I speak to my sellers using statistics? Um, lots of questions about how to maintain a strong mindset personally with a lot of drama surrounding you. So. Somebody tell me as we get ready for for buyers. So write in your notes, get a piece of paper, how to work with buyers in today's market. And we're going to address everything that you guys said. Buyers are liars. There's no loyalty. And what am I, a taxi? What do I do? You know, how do I make sure they're qualified? Why would I get myself in a position where I can actually love buyers? How does somebody actually do that, right? So let me ask you guys, if there was a reason to love buyers right now, what would it be? Quick money. Huh. Well, wow. what a resounding response. Quick money. We love buyers because you get paid right away. Why else? Less overhead. Less overhead. Doesn't really cost you then you got the cost of gas, sure. Buyers don't ask you to market them, do they? Like sellers do? Okay, so you don't really have that much money in the buyers. Why else? Dan, why do you love buyers? Once you learn how to evolve on control and kind of systematize working with buyers, it really is just like any other part of the business. Absolutely. So you mentioned systematizing them, right? Okay, so if I were talking to you about your buyer business, you probably have a specific plan that you follow when you're working with buyers, right? Okay, so that's something to write in your notes. Systematize the process to eliminate the disloyalty factor, the unqualified factor. All the things that are negative in our mindsets can be systematized away. Yes, that means some buyers you won't end up working with. That's okay. Rather than driving around seeing 100 houses before you find out, right? Okay, so do you guys have proven buyer scripts and presentations already that you're using? Okay, so that's something that's critical. If you're somebody in the audience that's saying buyer presentation, why don't I want to do that? We're going to talk more about that. Okay, so do you use buyer agency agreements? Every buyer that gets in your car, are they in contract? And I know yours are, Eric, because you use buyer agency, right? Okay, so that's two of you. Who else uses buyer agency every time? Every time. You, you have not worked with a buyer, okay? So maybe 20% now, okay? So we're going to talk about all of these. 